Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we discuss the possibility of having only one ZR per nation in every single case. But first, a message from our sponsor. Sponsored by Royalty Playmat Designs, the perfect way to get a custom and exclusively for you design for your Vanguard playmats. Choose your units, choose some or no zones, choose a tagline, a team name, the name of your bunny, anything your heart desires at Royalty Playmat Designs. So, a few days ago, some rumors started going around various Japanese websites and forums that there's only two ZRs or one ZR per nation in each case of G Booster Set 13. This rumor started from the fact that one blog seemed to have broken street date and opened the case way before release. They were able to predict every single skill of every single unreleased card including the overlords way before the episode or other spoilers drop. Now, judging from various Japanese sources, it seems like there will in fact only be two ZRs per case. Now do keep in mind, we can only be absolutely sure what happens to us the second we open our English boxes. But judging from what's going around, I do believe we'll end up with two ZRs per case. Because of that, I see the price of these things being through the roof to a point where most players won't even buy them. Some Japanese websites seem to put them at around 14,500 yen. Converted, that makes $110 for one ZR. I do believe, however, that they could drop lower than that as people get a bit more rational. Regardless, they'll be very very expensive. So overall this is bad news, very bad news. I really don't have to explain why this isn't positive. I think we can all agree this will have negative effects and people will be angry, justifiably so. We really wanted around four to six of these per case, not two. That's why I decide to give a second perspective on the situation because there actually are two possibly positive points in these darkest times. 1. ZRs actually aren't as staples Bushi makes them out to be. Both Mekido and Dragma actually aren't amazing finishers. Alexandros, Olivia, GB8, Boat, etc. are better finishers than Megiddo. And Dogma, Mujin Lord and Ziegenberg are better finishers than Dragma. Remember that ZRs destroy your G-zone after use. 99% of the time you simply don't want to risk striding into them. Finally, the two counter blast cost, which has to be paid on stride, is actually way too expensive. Considering almost every clan's unflip effects are acts. I've been playtesting new blue wave and new tava, so I can assure you, we never have two open counter blasts sitting there, ready to be used for Mekido. Meanwhile, Overlord's unflips are Conroe and Atonic, one of those triggers in main phase, the other in battle phase. So in conclusion, they aren't very necessary. They're nice to have, but if you don't have the cash to spare, you really don't have to be a afraid of missing out a lot. 2. Due to how supply and demand works, this will actually make all other cards cheaper as well. Remember, if a lot of people are gonna try to buy these, case splits and case openings will become instant easy profits for stores and sellers, since they know they'll make 200 to 250 dollars by just selling the instantly included set Rs. This means they will want to order and open more cases since the demand for the ZRs is so high. This will in turn then flood the market with all the double Rs and triple Rs driving down the price of the cards most people actually want to get. As much as it's painful that a card like a ZR could be 100 dollars, it's actually really nice for new people who want to get into the game that actual staples will be way easier to obtain. ZRs aren't very important to have, yet your playset of Dragonic Overlord to Destiny or the new Tavas is very important to have. And they all just got cheaper. So conclusion for the video, yes expensive ZRs aren't fun, I'm personally not a fan of this at all, but I do believe this will lower the barrier of entry for the entire game. The players who buy all the expensive cards will passively flood the market with everything that isn't a ZR, making all those cards easier to obtain. As always, please subscribe to the Solemn Vanguard channel and click the bell button to stay up to date, like the video if you liked the video and let me know your thoughts on the subject in the comments down below. I think this topic is a very heated one, but let's figure this one out together. Ciao!